Good morning. All right, we're gonna go out. So we have a, a, it's a cool morning. It's probably like low 40s right now and breezy. It's gonna make it feel a little colder, but it's okay. Um, we're gonna go check on the graft and, not, and then uh, I'm, I'm gonna do some work in here today. So uh, I'm gonna be getting set up outside. Um, yeah, 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 it's cool. Whew. Okay, it's not too bad. Sun's out, thank God. All right, we're gonna go take a walk over here. Well, let me check on. Let me check on the animals first. Good morning. Okay, they all looking good. Everybody looks alive and risky. There we go. They're doing good there. Okay, everything's looking good. And I hear y'all, y'all getting some food, just hang on. And these ladies ain't laying eggs, probably because there's just so many of them. Okay, the graph looks like it's still there. It, taken. We had a lot of wind last night and uh, yeah there it is. It's still nice and tight. Feels good. Okay. So we're gonna leave that on there. They say a good six weeks I think. Maybe I'm remembering something else. I need to go back and kind of maybe uh, research a little bit how long it takes. Might be six weeks. Man, this dragon fruit is just, look at it. It's just taking off. Here's some new growth here. Two of them. Here, one there, here, back here, this. This is a new, that's a new. Uh, look back here, this big, long, that's a new. Um, so, uh, that, that big long one in the back, I'm probably going to, Cut that one off and replant that one. That one right, right here. Replant that one. But I don't think I'll be able to pull that up and get it straight up here with all this. this that's really, really good. This is going to be good. I think it's in the perfect spot. Um, you know, I, I think it slowed up some because of the, uh, you know, the winter, but. For the summer, it's in the perfect spot. It did it did good last uh, last summer when I planted it because it doesn't get full sun all day long right there. Uh, around two o'clock, it starts getting shade, so it only gets the morning sun till two o'clock. So it, get, it gets a good, you know, because I mean, in the summertime, the sun's the sun's up early, so from seven to two, it's it getting five six hours of sun, you know, because it gets all the morning sun. And uh, and some and and some of the after a little bit of afternoon sun. So uh, I think I was in a great place. Uh, so I might I might set up another another stand or we'll move one of the ones from the front yard that's really not doing that good, and uh, maybe uh, move it back here. And uh, I could do that. Um, my cauliflower. Now this is this is first time this has ever happened to me. But this, the weather's crazy. I mean, our, our, our winter's almost over. And uh, but look, that's my cauliflower. Look at it. The it bolted. That's what it does when it bolts. It looks like that when it bolts. So um, I need to pull all that up. I could pull that up and feed that to the. To the ladies and uh, I was pulling up some grass yesterday and check this out now, this is the potatoes remember and 
Look. That's potato. Look. Potato. Plants coming up. So um, that's two of up. Oh, 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 here's one. Here. So uh, when I get in here and start pulling all this, this grass out of here, I'm probably going to see some more under there coming up. So that's exciting to see that the, uh, the potatoes are coming up. And I planted them at the right time this year. Uh, last year I did it a little late, and it was, that was the first year planting potatoes. And just from planting them late to the harvest, really, uh, was really, really, uh, I was shocked at how many I had. This is going to really probably shock me when I see how this is going to turn out, because I planted it at the right time. And plus, uh, I got a lot more planted. So I planted probably double, yeah, double from what I had last year and uh, okay so today's the day I'm gonna start working on operation uh, make mama happy to be day 10 and um, I'm gonna get in here and start doing things like uh, <clears throat> I could do some painting and all but uh, I really need to get inside these cabinets and get get all the cabinet work done that's gonna be the hardest part man if I could get that done knocked out everything's easy after that so uh, I'm gonna be working in the cabinets um, I, I have, uh, I, I can't bend down real easy because of my knees, but I mean, I can get on the ground and uh, I can't move around as easy as I used to when I was younger, but uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get a bunch of uh, stuff cut and ready and um, and then when I get on the ground, just get on the ground, stay inside the cabinets, work them till I'm done, S scoop myself over to the next one, get it done, and just uh, work on the ground today. Uh, Man, if I can knock everything on the ground, if I can knock it out today, that'd be a big blessing for me because I, uh, I won't have to worry about getting down on the ground anymore. I could just take one day and, uh, and then I probably need to like, I probably, I don't know, I'll have to see how my body handles. But sometimes when I'm doing stuff on the ground like that, uh, I usually have to rest up the next day, you know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Um, we'll see how my body uh, re reacts to it, how, how it would happen. So uh, I'm gonna get everything set up and then... Cause this part I've never done before, so I gotta, I gotta figure that out. But I know what to do, I, I got it in my mind what to do. Maybe I'm gonna start on this one. I'm gonna start on this one. Take all that stuff out the cabinets, I'm gonna start on this one. That way uh, all that stuff can go back into the drawers. Cause I mean, that's all ready just about. I just need to put a rail cross there and um, yeah they won't be even and that might that might that might just mess with my head so much I might have to I might have to move these to get it all even you know what I mean I might have to do it I need to measure it it might be right it might be right already I don't know it's probably not these are probably set at the middle because I was gonna have doors on here and just have pull out trays you know what I mean that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna work on this one because that'll give us I could I could get these drawers done today and get this butcher block done I think I could do that today and that would give us a, a little work and more workspace to start off with while I'm still doing the rest of this so I'm gonna work on this cabinet first all right so I'm gonna get this cabinet cleared out okay and then uh, and then I'll meet you outside by the saw well I got to get all that set up and then I'll meet you out there by the saw and uh, I gotta cut cut the rail and cut uh, another filler piece in here to move the top rail uh, uh, drawer slides over. So okay, uh, all right. So I'll see you. I'll see you uh, about a saw. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, I'm still working on the one cabinet. Um, let me just show you. I don't have the bottom done. I just got finished with the. Uh, the butcher block and I think it's going to be cool. Here we go, look at it. And uh, let me set this up here, like this. So, uh, I didn't do the whole thing that way. When we cook in here and you come here, if you got to come here for anything, look, we can reach everything here. This comes out and uh, it's pretty sturdy, real, real, real sturdy. And then when it goes in, you can push it in, and then when it gets to a certain point, it 
pulls in on its own. And there it is. Ain't that beautiful? So, uh, but I'm going to make the drawer front to cover this whole piece. When you open it, when you open it, just, just the one side will come out. And when you open it, it'll have the drawer front on it, but just the ones. So the, the drawer front will be sticking out here. You know what I mean? So, but it'll be here. So you can still get in here to do what you got to do. And then, you know, I might not do the whole thing. I'm, I'm going to fill that in, and I just might just put it over this one area, too. You know, I, I don't know. There's things i got to think about what I want to do. Okay, so I'm, I'm fixing to get the work down in the, the bottom section. i got to take the top rails off and uh, the top slides and add a rail across, across here cross here and um, and then re-anchor re these and then I'll go build my boxes and then this cabinet will be done you know as far as you know before without, without the drawer fronts but I mean getting inside this is killing me it's hurt my body a lot but uh so anyway I think this is very impressive to me I think it looks pretty cool All right, I'll keep you updated as I go on. I just didn't run the camera the whole time watching me build it. I just, uh, it just takes a lot of time to move the camera around to make sure y'all seeing it and all that. I'm, I'm sorry, but I just, I got, I had, I knew this was going to take a lot of time for me to do to work inside this, this cabinet. But I, I, I like what I'm seeing here. I need to go get some, uh, some butcher block oil and get it, uh, treat this. It's all, uh, sanded smooth filled in and everything and then uh, it's really nice real real nice I like it I like it she's gonna she's gonna love it she's sleeping right now she's she worked this morning and uh, she's in a lot of pain with her ankle she needs an ankle replacement and uh, it's scheduled uh, for February 12th so uh, she's getting to the point uh, she's got to get it now because I mean it's it's getting to the point where so she got uh, when she was 18, she got ran over by a car and uh, messed up one of her legs pretty bad. Put her in the hospital for a year and things like that. She was messed up from it. So uh, she already had a knee replacement probably uh, maybe 10, 11 years ago. Okay. And, uh, they, they, and for years, they didn't want to do it because of her age. And uh, But it got to the point where they had to do it because... Her knee fell apart, and uh, she was in pain, you know, and they, they put a new knee replacement in. Well, the same thing's now going on with her uh, with her ankle. You know, because of that accident, uh, there's just arthritis in that leg, and it's just the bone just decaying away. She's got she's got a rod in there that's uh, her, uh, her, her calf. The front part, the shin area, is uh, actually, uh, um, she has a rod in there. Uh, you would never know it. She's a tough woman, but uh, she's gonna be blessed. Well, so anyway, she's tired and wore out from because she had. This, she, today was her last day of this one job that she's doing, uh, office that she cleans, and um, and it just wore her out. The poor thing. And so she, I went and looked at it just now because I wanted to see this, and she's out. She's out. She's out like like a light. So anyway, so let me get working on the rest of this. I'll show you the results uh, when I I'll show I'll, I'll get on and show you when I put the. Uh, the cross member in and get the, the get the uh, the slide rails adjusted to the right place. Then I'll just go outside and build me some boxes real quick. Put the ends on, come put them in. You know, uh, and that this drawer this actually will be finished today. I, I'm, I'm going to finish this today, pretty sure. Okay, all right, you guys. See you on the. Okay, guys. Now I got the I got the rail in, and I, I mean. It looks like that the top one's bigger, but it's really not. I measured, I measured it several times to make sure. It just has that look that it's bigger, but it's not. Same size. So Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go make the two drawers. And uh, it should go fairly smooth and easy. 
And uh, all right, uh, I'll see you on the update. All right, guys. Um, running out of daylight, so I'm not gonna get it finished. But I got one in. You can see I got one in. So uh, just gonna first thing tomorrow, build that box, get it in, and then I'll start working on this one and getting this one together and get the get them in there. That's not a whole lot to get out of that cabinet to either. It's, uh, it's just some pots and pans. This one had a lot of junk. You can see it all over. So anyway. Um, yeah, so anyway, that looks pretty good. So I'm excited about how it's coming out. It's looking good. It's starting to get there. All right, so I think tomorrow I can get that that and all and both of those done tomorrow. And um, if I have no interruptions with anything, uh, I had a couple interruptions today. People stopping by. My daughter called, needed to go take a run to Home Depot with her. So I just had a lot of things happen. But uh, but still, I got. I think I did getting that getting that. Uh, Butcher block in there was major, and uh, I was kind of uh, concerned about how it really, how sturdy it would really be. Man, it's, it's seriously sturdy, and um, so uh, it's on a good set of, uh, you know, draw uh, glide. You know, all right, it's starting to get dark, so I'm gonna go uh, pick up. But uh, so that this this concludes uh, what day ten of uh, Operation Make Mama Happy. All right, all right, see you on the next video. Y'all be blessed.